Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to copy files from your FTP server to your Cisco router. So this is my Cisco router. Uh, this is my uh, Cisco router running iOS XE image 16.12.03 router. So before we transferring the file uh, from my FTP server, we have to make sure we are able to ping that uh, FTP server IP address my FTP server is reachable via uh, VRF so I'm giving uh, VRF ping so I'm able to ping my FTP server the next thing to check is whether the local router have enough space to copy the file size so for that you have to give the command show file systems I'm going to copy the file into my boot flash so a boot flash I have free space available so now I'm able to uh, ping my FTP server and I'm able to uh, check we have enough space available to copy the file into the router the local router now the command to copy file is like you have to give copy if you give a question mark you can see all the options in this video I'm going to show you how to do that with the FTP the command is uh, copy FTP colon slash slash then you have to give the username of your um, FTP server the username I have is admin colon then type the password I have given password so I'm just giving password itself then at the rate you give the IP address of your FTP server then the location of uh, the file I kept it in the root folder itself so I'm just giving um, slash and then the file name the file name should match exactly what uh, you have in your uh, FTP server it is better you can just copy from there and then paste it here and then give a space after copying the file give a space and then give a question mark so this is the location where in your local router where you are going to put it so in my ro local router I am going to put it under boot flash so I am going to give boot flash here so if you want to give a uh, destination file name in your local router you can give here otherwise it will take it uh, whatever source file name it is after boot flash give a space and then give a question mark you can see if there is any VRF involved you can give a VRF name otherwise you can simply enter since in this my lab I have uh, a VRF involved so I'm giving the VRF name so the command to copy file is like copy FTP colon slash slash admin colon password the username password of your FTP server at the rate the FTP server IP address slash uh, the file name then the local folder boot flash and uh, the VRF so when I give enter you can see that it's asking the destination file name whether it can keep this file name where it is copying from if you given the file name uh, like boot flash colon and then the file name there it won't ask this actually so since we are not given that it is asking I'm going to give enter so it will uh, store the file in the same file name so once I hit enter it will uh, start the download the file is getting downloaded now I have opened another session just to check whether the file transfer is going fine I'm giving dir boot flash pipe include CSR you can see this is the file name that we are downloading it's an image and uh, this is the current size 5136 you can see it is increasing now so like that we can verify whether the file transfer is happening once the file is fully transferred we can check the file size and confirm also once the file is fully downloaded we have to uh, verify its md5 checksum Uh, file transfer is completed and uh, we can check the dir boot flash pipe include csr 1000b you can see the amount of file got transferred and uh, like I said uh, once the file is fully transferred we have to verify the md5 we can just simply give verify slash md5 space boot flash 
and then the uh, the file name this one so it's verifying now and uh, it is showing done and the md5 is verified this is the md5 checksum value so whenever you transfer the file from your FTP server to your Cisco router, uh, it's uh, better you verify this so that uh, the file transfer is completed properly. We can confirm that. So that's the procedure, how you download a file from your FTP server into your Cisco IOS uh, XE routers.